Hello, this is at TeachSmith, and I thought today I would point out some interesting comparisons and similarities between the similes used at the start of A Christmas Carol that link Scrooge and Marley, and that show some differences between them. So one of the first lines in the novel is, Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Now this line helps to set the tone for the start of the novel. It's very morbid, it's quite grim. It of course tells us that Marley is dead, Scrooge's partner is dead, and he's as dead as a doornail. Now this simile makes him sound um, very dead and very cold, um, and perhaps tells us something about his character. But it's better to perhaps understand this quotation in its relation to hard and sharp as flint. Now hard and sharp as flint is one of the quotations used to describe Scrooge at the beginning of the novel. Now both a doornail and a piece of flint are hard, sharp and cold to the touch. So those are similarities between the two similes and similarities between the two characters. They're both hard as in they're tough, hardened by life. If you make a doornail, I'm assuming it takes quite a lot of shaping, quite a lot of uh, powerful uh, heating and cooling, you know, blacksmithing techniques it's quite, to make it quite hardened, to make it sharpened. And similar with flint, to get a sharp piece of flint, you will need to sort of knock stones together, uh, shape it with different tools, different pieces of stone. And uh, this perhaps reflects their lives, that they've had both quite difficult lives. Sharp as intelligent you know, intelligent men, intelligent men of business, but also sharp in terms of, you know, quite biting, quite, um, perhaps quite sarcastic, uh, quite ruthless, etc. Cold to the touch, as in cold emotionally as well, okay? Not very feeling, not very sympathetic, not empathetic to anyone else, okay? Now, in terms of potential, flint can be used to make fire, although it is difficult. It's difficult to get a flint and steel make sparks and light the tinder but it can happen which of course does happen to Scrooge by the end of the novel he is warm he is welcoming he is part of his family and part of the wider community now a doornail can be made to bind pieces of wood and metal together and make a home although it takes a lot of effort however Marley will never realize that potential unlike Scrooge Scrooge realizes his potential. He makes fire as a piece of flint, figuratively speaking. However, Marley does not uh, unite people. Marley does not create homes. He takes homes away. Now, this is why I think the second simile is applied only to Scrooge, as solitary as an oyster. Now, at first, they're very similar, all three similes. All three similes are about things which are hard, sharp, and cold to the touch. You know, an oyster will live in cold water. When you pick it out of the sea or of the ocean, it will be cold to the touch. It'll have hardness in the shells and it'll have very jagged edges. Now, an oyster and also will be hiding a pearl, often, not always, but will be hiding a pearl. However, it is difficult to open, just as it is difficult to make fire with flint and just as it is difficult to create a home with doornails. Now, I think perhaps that the reason why Scrooge is given this simile is because he is still alive and an oyster is alive. It is a living organism and it shows that Scrooge has more potential to change and Scrooge has more potential to realise his dreams. Well, realise his dreams perhaps, but um, be changed, be transformed into a good person. Unlike Marley, Marley, will, Marley is now as dead as a doornail. He will never make that transformation. Whereas Scrooge can still make it and he does make it, which is why I think there is this um, second simile. Thank you very much for watching this video. Just a quick video, a kind of close analysis video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Please check out my uh, revision wraps if you want a bit of fun. Um, all five staves of uh, Christmas Carol have been wrapped so you can essentially revise the whole novel in about under 20 minutes. Thank you very much and thank you for watching.